Hello YouTube, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another episode of What's in the Box. I uh, hope everybody's doing good. I've been having fun doing this. I hope everybody likes it. This uh, What's in the Box series episodes series has been a lot of fun for me. So I get to show you a lot of different stuff. So let's reach in the box. Yeah, let's grab, let's grab this right here. Can't let you see what else is in the box. <laughs> Gotta keep that a mystery for you. But what do we got here? All right. I think today we're going to look at some commemoratives. Everybody's probably familiar with the 1982 proof George Washington commemorative half dollar. Uh, find these things all over the place. I told my, my coin shop knows to let me know when they have commemoratives come in. And they know I have a few of these. And... Yeah, if they're in the junk bin, if they're in the constitutional bin, I'll pick these up and and uh, I'll throw them in a tube. But I have, like I said, I have three or four of these, and this 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 one particular one happened to be in their constitutional bin. No premium, no extras, so I took it. The other things they had, I know everybody's seen this one. This was the first design of the commemorative. This was done in 1893, well, 1892, and this happens to be a 92. And they also did it in 93, 1893. Uh, this was a uh, really good. They charged me just basic constitutional bin price for this. I think at the time they were running uh, 20 times face, so I paid 10 for this. Here's another, I have several of these, the Stone Mountain. This one is, even with the toning, this one is still in really good shape. And I also got this one for the 10 bucks, 20 times face. I'll take these over Franklin's Walkers or... Uh, some of the other constitutional, I'll take these before getting the other stuff. And let's take a look at, oh, another, another stone mountain. This one's in really good shape also. Got some of the, eh, just regular brownish tone, you know, standard standard toning that you see still nice condition coin I think I have about seven or eight of these now always happy to get these and then here's a first for me this is the pilgrim half dollar and she is pretty good I'll go ahead so I got my glove on I'll go ahead and take this out drop it. Somebody made a comment that I should have a pad. I do. This is a nice pad, so if I do drop it, I'm not going to damage it. I'm not going to put a ding in it. But I do see some lines right there. I'll take a look at it closer. Somebody might have done some scuffing on it. But I'll have to look closer and see if that actually goes on into the into the design. Take a look at the reverse. Look at that. Lots of detail. Lots of detail. Was happy to get this. Also, in the constitutional pen, we'll take it all day long. I said this is the first that I've got. Yeah. Just beautiful coins. Beautiful coins. And I want to show you something I went pulled out of my personal collection. I have the three-piece 1936 South Carolina set. Of course, these are slabbed, and everybody knows I don't care for slabs, but um, I was happy to get this, get this set. This happens to be the D. It is in a SEGS holder. 
thing. It's an absolute beautiful coin. They graded it 66, whether you agree with SEGS or not. I'm just going to leave it in this holder. Take a look. Just beautiful coin. I did buy these a while back as a as a three piece set. And, uh, let me set that out here. Kind of give you a little teaser. Here in another SEGS holder. This is the S. A64. They say it has a light cleaning. But looking at it, even under a loop, have not seen where it would be clean. Or even just lightly cleaned. And whether you agree with SEGS or not, that's your opinion. I'm going to leave it the way it is. I'm not going to send it off and have somebody else grade it. I'm just happy to have it the way it is. Beautiful coin. So, I'm going to turn that around. And then here is the Philly. And this is in the old green rattler. You can hear the coin rattle in there. That's why they call it the rattler. It does have a cock sticker on it. And to show you, when I do have slabs, everybody knows they get scratched. And I don't, it's one of the reasons I don't like slabs. But let me see if I can get this out. I want to show you what I do. What I do with my slabs that are going in my collection. I buy these sleeves. They're like the ones you get for people get for baseball cards and stuff. Uh, they have a resealable edge on it. So you can slide the coin in, but just want to take it out so you know that uh, this was graded 64. Has a CAC sticker. It was part of the when I bought the set. This is the way this one was. There's a coin that's in there a little bit, but the cool thing with these is you can play with them and see what I did there. I went the, I went the wrong way. So if you rattle them around a little bit, you can get the coins. You can get the coins to center back up. And that's good enough. Just wanted to show you how you can you can get the coin to go one way or the other way depending on how you rattle it. You just gotta show you the reverse. Just a stunning coin. Actually, I'm thinking this one at a 64. If I sent it in, I would probably because it has a cock sticker, it would probably more than likely upgrade. It would probably go to a 65. But just a just a beautiful coin. Thought I'd share this set with you since I was showing you my local pickup on the other ones. Anyways, if you like what you see, I'm going to leave a comment, hit the like button, and uh, if you haven't already, subscribe, hit the notification button, and we'll see you on the next video.